Analytical Chemistry 2.0 by David Harvey. Chapter 2. Section 2b. Concentration. Concentration is a general measurement unit stating the amount of solute present in a known amount of solution. The concentration is equal to the amount of solute divided by the amount of solution. Although we associate the terms solute and solution with liquid samples, we can extend their use to gas phase and solid phase samples as well. Table 2.4 lists the most common units of concentration. Section 2b.1 Molarity and Formality Both molarity and formality express concentration as moles of solute per liter of solution. There is, however, a subtle difference between molarity and formality. Molarity is the concentration of a particular chemical species. Formality, on the other hand, is a substance's total concentration without regard to its specific chemical form. There is no difference between a compound's molarity and formality if it dissolves without dissociating into ions. The formal concentration of a solution of glucose, for example, is the same as its molarity. For a compound that ionizes in solution, such as NaCl, molarity and formality are different. Dissolving 0.1 moles of CaCl2 in 1 liter of water gives a solution containing 0.1 moles of calcium plus 2 and 0.2 moles of Cl minus. The molarity of NaCl, therefore, is zero since there is essentially no undissociated sodium chloride. The solution, instead, is 0.1 molar in calcium plus 2 and 0.2 molar in Cl minus. The formality of NaCl, however, is 0.1 formal since it represents the total amount of sodium chloride in solution. The rigorous definition of molarity, for better or worse, is largely ignored in the current literature, as it is in this textbook. When we state that a solution is 0.1 molar of NaCl, we understand it to consist of Na plus and Cl ions. The unit of formality is used only when it provides a clearer description of solution chemistry. Molarity is used so frequently that we use a symbolic notation to simplify its expression in equations and in writing. Square brackets around a species indicate that we are referring to that species' molarity. Thus, Na plus between square brackets is read as the molarity of sodium ions. Section 2b.2 Normality Normality is a concentration unit that is no longer in common use. Because you may encounter normality in older handbooks of analytical methods, it can be helpful to understand its meaning. Normality defines concentrations in terms of an equivalent, which is the amount of one chemical species reacting stoichiometrically with another chemical species. Note that this definition makes an equivalent, and thus normality, a function of the chemical reaction in which the species participates. Although a solution of H2SO4 has a fixed molarity, its normality depends on how it reacts. You will find a more detailed treatment of normality in Appendix 1. Section 2b.3 Molality Molality is used in thermodynamic calculations, where a temperature-independent unit of concentration is needed. Molarity is based on the volume of solution containing the solute. Since density is a temperature-dependent property of solution s volume, and thus its molar concentration, changes with temperature. By using the solvent s mass in place of the solution s volume, the resulting concentration becomes independent of temperature. Section 2b.4 Weight, Volume, and Weight to Volume Ratios Weight percent, volume percent and weight to volume percent express concentration as the units of solute present in 100 units of solution. A solution of 1.5 weight to volume percent of NH4NO3, for example, contains 1.5 grams of ammonium nitrate in 100 milliliters of solution. Section 2b.5 Parts per million and parts per billion Parts per million, ppm, and parts per billion, ppbr ratios giving the grams of solute to, respectively, 1 million or 1 billion grams of sample. For example, a steel that is 450 ppm in manganese, contains 450 micrograms of manganese for every gram of steel. If we approximate the density of an aqueous solution as 1.00 gram per milliliter, then solution concentrations can be expressed in ppm or ppb using the following relationships. ppm is equal to milligram per liter, which is equal to nanogram per gram, and 
a part per billion is equal to gram per liter, which is equal to nanogram per milliliter. For gases, a part per million usually is a volume ratio. Thus, a helium concentration of 6.3 ppm means that one liter of air contains 6.3 microliters of helium. Section 2b.6 Converting between concentration units The most common ways to express concentration in analytical chemistry are molarity, weight percent, volume percent, weight to volume percent, parts per million and parts per billion. By recognizing the general definition of concentration given in equation 2.1, it is easy to convert between concentration units. Section 2b.7 P functions Sometimes it is inconvenient to use the concentration units in Table 2.4. For example, during a reaction a species concentration may change by many orders of magnitude. If we want to display the reaction S progress graphically we might plot the reactant S concentration as a function of time, or as a function of the volume of a reagent, being added to the reaction. Such is the case in Figure 2.2 for the titration of hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. The y-axis on the left side of the figure displays the concentration of H plus as a function of the volume of NaOH. The initial concentration of H plus is 0 0.10 molar, and its concentration after adding 80 milliliters of sodium hydroxide is 4.3 times 10 to the minus 13 molar. We can easily follow the change in the concentration of H plus for the first 14 additions of sodium hydroxide. For the remaining additions of NaOH, however, the change in H plus is too small to see. When working with concentrations spanning many orders of magnitude, it is often more convenient to express concentration using a p-function. The p-function of x is written as px and is defined as px is equal to the negative logarithm of x. The pH of a solution, that is 0 0.10 molar NH pluses, pH is equal to the negative logarithm of the concentration of H+, plus, or the negative logarithm of 0 0.01, which is equal to 1, and the pH of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 13 molar of H+, pluses. pH is equal to the negative logarithm of the concentration of H+, plus, that is the negative logarithm of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 13, which is equal to 12.37, figure 2.2 shows. That plotting pH as a function of the volume of sodium hydroxide provides more detail about how the concentration of H plus changes during the titration.